A lot of game reviewers. Las Americas, Tenerife, Park, Santiago, One Apartments. Great location, these apartments. Look how nice these slivers are. The colourful display there. It's quite nice, this complex. It's not a big high rise one, it's just low floor. Let me know, viewers, what's the pool like compared to Park Santiago 3 and 4. So there's the swimming pool area. Watch till the end, I'll show you exactly where they're located. Really good location across from the last Yesta Hotel, close to everything. So you can see they've got a wee kids pool over in the distance there as well, I can see. I don't know if there's a wee pool bar, I can't see it. Maybe around the side, not sure. Don't want to go down there because there's people sunbathing. So, that's the part Santiago 2 complex. Let me show you exactly where it's located. We've got the stairs. Let me know in the comments. Is there a wee pool bar? Have I missed it around the side? Don't know. Looks nice anyway. But the location probably is one of the key things here. Brilliant location. Is that the pool bar there? <laughs> I've seen where's the pool bar that's there. So there is a pool bar. I need to try and figure my way out. I can't remember the way I came in. They've got hairdressers here as well. Hairdressers up there. Beauty club as well. So here's another angle in the pool. So nice pool for sure, definitely. So we've got a full English breakfast here, including coffee or tea. Five euros twenty, not bad eh? Open ten to six. And they've got happy hour on between four and six as well. Absolutely perfect. So I was thinking they must have a pool bar because it's quite a big pool. And there it is. So all the Park Santiago things, uh, Park Santiago apartments, I've got one thing in common. Great locations, wherever you're staying. Let me show you where this one's located, if I can remember my way out that is. You'll see me come out here at the end, it's a really good location. You're close to the Golden Mile, you're close to the Dubliner, Gaelic Corner, out this way. Hopefully, let's go up the stairs. There's a wee beauty club if you want a massage in there as well, and the hairdressers. Let me know if you've stayed in the Park Santiago's, what's the best one? Some people say three, some people say four. I don't hear many people mentioning this one. Maybe it's a wee hidden gem. Let me show you exactly where it's located. It's a good location. Here we are. So, you've got a wee choice here. You can go left. Down to the patch, Princess Dies, Bad Bobs, the Billy. A wee bit further up, you've got the Dubliner, the Gaelic Corner, Palms Fish and Chip Shop, Railway Tavern, the Bell. Ten minute walk from here, you've got the Veronica Strip for the young ones. Across the road, you've got the Hotel La Siesta. I've stayed in there before. Rooms are kind of old fashioned, a wee bit dated, but I actually quite liked it. Uh, the food was okay, a lot of people tell me the food's not great in there, but the day I was there the food was okay and I got a really good deal so I couldn't complain. Here you've got H10 Conquistador, really nice hotel as well. I've not been in that one yet, we'll see if I can possibly get a video in it at one point, but it's quite tricky again. They've got a wee podium at the front, usually with security on, so unless you're staying there you can't really go in. So we can walk all the way down here if you want. You come to the Golden Mile, you can head left here towards the best Tenerife Hotel, the Volcano, the Beta Cora, around the corner as well. So really quite a good location. That's the best Tenerife Hotel you can see in the distance. Somebody did ask me to do a wee video, I've done a video in there. Um, I'll try and leave a, vid a link at the end of the, the video up there in the left or down there on the bottom left um, just showing you inside the best Tenerife I think it's officially a four star hotel but it's I think if you're looking at a four star hotel budget's not an issue I'd probably say Volcano and Beta Cora a higher standard let me know what you think 
the Villa Cortez over there, which is beautiful inside. I've done a video in there as well. I might leave a link at the end of this video to the Villa Cortez. Really nice. And there is the H10 Conquistador. So, pretty good location. You've got the shops across here. You've got Mangos, Tony Roma's. There's a nice restaurant, Garibaldi's. Sometimes get music on. Location-wise, all the parts of Santiago's are good. 25 degrees at the moment. This is getting filmed on March the 31st. The weather's been a bit dodgy the last few days, but it looks as if it's picking up today. Although, looking at it, there is still quite a lot of clouds. But I can definitely feel myself getting burnt. I've got the cap on. Still watching, superstar. Thanks very much. I really appreciate it. Had to get the cap on today. It's getting hot, viewers. What do you think, the part of Santiago? H10 hotels are really nice inside. I've done another walk through in the H10 Las Palmeras. So let me know if you've stayed in there. Really quite nice. So that is a wee location spot for the Park Santiago one. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the wee red button just there. It says subscribe, it's absolutely free. And we'll see you in the next one, probably from somewhere else in Tenerife. And just in time, the wee trains went by. How exciting is that to end the video on? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.